Okay, put the record here, okay? I mean, everybody's talking to me like I'm a mean dude. <laughs> hey, listen. I'll drive here like twice a week, and I knew this room is full of killers, okay? You cannot let your guard down. I mean, if you let your guard down and let them, them this guy's in, they will crush you. You know that. You've been trained with this guy. So, in the jiu-jitsu, that's the beautiful thing about jiu-jitsu. You know, you, you know, Rick will talk the same thing. He went to rolls this guy. This is actually, when you have an instructor that should take you serious, that's not a, by any means, the guy is being mean to you. You should take this as a compliment. If you have an instructor that doesn't take you serious, it's not like getting a good grip, getting a good position, like, before he goes, you know, he's not, like, sometimes he wants to work, of course, but... When you get to that level where your instructor is like, okay, I cannot give you an inch, that's actually uh, a compliment to your jiu-jitsu. And with this guy's here, I mean, every time I roll, I mean, I'm not giving him an inch. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> because then it's just, you know, it just gets get worse from there, you know? So, you know, with this guy's here, I mean, that's what I love about jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is real. And this guy's here, we, like, you can see the bond, strong bond we have with each other, you know, we all, doesn't matter, Kim, sometimes we not talk for months. It doesn't matter. We are still good, good friends. We see the friend hug, you know, it's, it's a bond that you can cannot separate. And when you train, I think it's the coolest thing that you're gonna go so hard in each other and then you shake hands. I seen Cat Mario and Rick like going each other, like rip each other apart. And then after I mean, they they lay down on the mat, like, man, that was so fun. But part of my English. <laughs> but that's the point. You're super pumped, you know, and you feel that could work out. Is exactly what you say. I mean, uh, Clay and Brett. I mean, they're best friends. But they, guess what? They try to rip each other apart. You know, you're gonna see. You know, when I roll this guy, it's the same way. And that's the beautiful thing about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You know, so just leave that. <laughs> so that was a uh, a huge honor for me. Uh, this line just grew a lot. Um, I, I appreciate, uh, it meant a lot to me when uh, all three of them said that they would like to, to wait until you know, I got my degree and everything. Um, that's why I also wanted Sam to be here because all their progression, you know, is not, it's not just me, it's both of us, it's everyone on this line, it's everyone in this room. Okay, so I'm glad we all got to be here for that, for this, um, and what they wanted to happen, okay? Uh, it wasn't somebody said, hey, you're going to get your black belt, how do you want it to be? It was like, I always do a brown belt little meeting. I sit down with each brown belt when I think, you know, it could be a possibility. I ask them about their goals, their training, what they're, you know, how, what they foresee in the future once they even become a black belt. What are their goals? And uh, just so I, ahead of time, I kind of know mentally where they're at. And then I'll give them some guidelines of what I'm looking for and expect out of them to reach that goal. Um, so we had that conversation a long time ago, okay? So, uh, and I think all of them have, have reached those goals, okay? So, uh, very proud of them, very proud of them. Very, very proud of everyone in here. Happy to have everyone here. Um, I would just like to, you know, as a, I uh, was just watching the development of the different teams, you know, because majority of the times when I was here, I was taking the role of teaching be the instructor and watch him break what he's doing, what his, you know, his mentality, his mindset, you know, he's doing a phenomenal job, you know, you guys in a good, in a good, really good spot, you know, technically, physically, organization, and so forth, you know, I'm really proud of the work you guys are doing here, you know, in Cleveland, you know, if you think about it, guys, um, there's, in Cleveland, honestly, it's kind of a little bit, of course, it's a tough guy, but like, as far as the level, and it has in this room here, it's a pretty high level, you know, it's like a place that, you, you know, I want to come, come down to get some train hard, you know, this is a place, I would honestly choose the Thursday, you know, I, you know, when I told people to come to me, and even actually, I was trying to sneak with Joe here, Oh man, I, I just like, it was Friday already. It was Friday already, Friday night. Like, I don't know about that. You know, because it's tied for the whole week train. But like, you know, you, you know, it's deep waters. You know, it's, I asked mean, Rod to play here too. Because I told him, man, that's some tough, tough train there. I mean, you're going to get some good train, you know. And then you guys here, you guys, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you, because you hear, it's like, 
you find this small little wind you have that the knowledge you have so far as far as jujitsu goes the world is outside so you're stepping in and you guys here have a kill of them you don't even, you don't even realize and you realize later on you start branching out and see what what's out there but this is, this is an awesome room you can you can grow and get to the next level for sure you know and just keep training there's no secret you know like a lot of people come to me and say hey man i want to Cheap this, this, man. There's no, there's no secret. You know? uh, be here. Stay here. Be consistent. The most important thing be consistent. Sometimes, like anything, you're going to be like, we pump. Oh, man, so pump this week. The next week it rolls out. You know, and then you're like, oh, it's close to Christmas. Oh, man, it's close to Christmas. You start making excuses in your head. You know what? It's Christmas and New Year's. I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to take a little break and I'll let my injuries heal. And, man, this is all crap. Don't do that. You know, I'm telling you. Hey, people, I, would, I never take a break. Why? Because I keep the momentum. You know, all this is excuse, and then it comes one week, two weeks, three weeks. You know what? It's kind of January, too close. I'm going to take another break here. And when the middle of January is frozen, I'm going to start training. So then what happens is you lose consistency. The most important thing, if you want to be here on this on this side here, you know, with black belts, we can to Whatever your goal is, to, you know, to lose weight or to be like, a champion or compete, you have to be consistent. And anything to do, that's one thing you just taught me. Another thing you just taught me, I want to share with you guys. Because sometimes you're going to think, man, I'm not the most talented person. You just taught me. That was one thing I thought it was, or in life, there are two options, right? Or you're talented or you're not talented, and if you're not talented, you should not be doing it. You just taught me that it doesn't matter talent. You love, you love jujitsu. You excited every time you're in the room. You have a hard time certain things. It does not matter, man. Work harder. And you, you, you can get good. You get good. And you guarantee you that. Because I remember my first times I've done my. Got myself handed to me, you know. I don't want to say what, because I'm going to keep the PG, you know. <laughs> uh, but, you know, but I, I was like persistent. I was like, you know, I competed first tournament. I'll tell you why. Because majority of the time you get the black the white belts and you probably get sometimes tough times on the mat. And you, I mean, I competed the first time with one month because I was like, there's no way somebody's gonna open like you okay, open the gym. That's why I competed. You know, so keep going, keep training guys, and you guys will blast to have you like this, okay? Close. Close. <laughs>